all your talk is cheap like a Roman noodle All you talk about is what about the white man, I think you like a Roman noodle How you pro-black but love some white girls, don't you know what they did to us? They gave us murders, made you hate yourself, made you pro-abortion, made you feminist Nah, 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 boo-boo, don't let these people fool you Called out their bamboozle, don't you know that you Hebrew? Call me a Shirala Smoke is not supposed to be in your lungs, man Right? Read what you got, man Three, First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Elder, do you believe that? Elder, do you believe in God? Right? You can't believe in God and say you smoking cigarettes. Read on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Right, read. Know ye not uh -huh. that ye are the temple of God? Say that again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Read it one more time. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Don't you know that you are the temple of God? Read on. And that the spirit of your house dwells within you. Don't you know that the spirit of God dwells within you? Don't you know that you are supposed to be a God and a king in this earth? Right? Read on, man. If any man defile the temple of God. If you continue to defile your temple, the thing that God gave to you to move your spirit in this earth. Read on. Him shall God destroy. God is going to destroy you. You know why? Because he has no need for a sinful man. God has no need for you on this earth if you continue to live in your sin. God has had mercy and grace upon you, man. And you got to repent for your sins. Read on. For the temple of God is holy. The temple of God is holy. Temple ye are. Uh-huh, read. Let no man deceive himself. Let no man deceive himself, man. Give me Isaiah chapter 1 verse 5. Right? Isaiah chapter 1 verse 5. You brothers got to come back and hear the voice of the Lord thy God, man. You got to realize that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That you are the real Jews in the earth. You are the real Hebrews in the earth, man. You are the gods and you are the true authority that should be running this earth, man. You are the judges of the earth. Read on, man. Isaiah Isa chapter 1 verse 5. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Right, read. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Uh-huh. Do we have anything? Absolutely, right? So I'll tell you, do you know who we are first? You understand what we teach, brother? Right? Have you ever seen us before? Give me Isaiah 49 verse 5. Right, good. So I'm going to educate you real quick, and it shouldn't take that long. What we come out here to do is to show the, uh, the true blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they are according to the Bible. If I was to ask you your nationality, what would you tell me, brother? You say you Haitian? <laughs> from the tribe of Levi. Hallelujah. Clap it up for this brother, man. You would be from the, the so-called Haitians are from the tribe of Levi. That's a very powerful tribe. You were the mediators between the children of Israel and the Most High himself. Right? So you have a great duty to play in this earth, man. Read what you got, man. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, and verse 5. So what is our purpose? What is the purpose of these brothers standing before you right now? Read. And now, saith the Lord that formed me from the womb. Right, read. To be his servant. To be his what? To be his servant. All these brothers he created from the womb, but to be what? A servant, man. That's right. We are, we are the true servants of the Heavenly Father. And what is a servant supposed to do? Read on. To bring Jacob again to him. To bring who? To bring Jacob again to him. Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel, the real Jews, the real Hebrews, God's chosen people, which you are, the tribe of Levi. A very powerful tribe in this Bible, man. Right? We come back out here to bring you back to the word, the words of God. So you can return to him and keep his commandments and be very great in this earth, man. You have to come back and listen to the voice of the Lord our God. Right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Right? Because this is important, man. You have to come back. Right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Now let me ask you a question. The so-called Haitians, right? Are they treated fairly here in America? <laughs> you laugh at that. That's a joke, man. It's a joke, man. Right. Watch this, brother. I'm going to show you something, right? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Let me show you this. Read. It shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible is saying, if you do not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, read on. To observe to do all his commandments. Keep reading. And his statutes. Keep reading. Which I command thee this day. Keep reading. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these who? All these curses. All these curses. All these bad things. Read on. Shall come upon thee. Keep reading. And overtake thee. They shall come upon the so-called Haitians and overtake take y'all man so let's talk about something right so brother listen before you go before you go 
One scripture before you go, brother. One scripture before you go. Let me show you something. Right? Because what I'm trying to show you is your history, your true history. How did your people get to Haiti, man? How did Haitians get to Haiti? On a big, big boat. On a big boat. Watch this, man. Give me verse 68. Now remember, in verse 15, it says, if you don't listen to do all these commandments, all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Watch this curse. I bet money you never read this in the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again with shit. So the Most High said he will bring you into Egypt. The word Egypt is synonymous with the words house of bondage, slavery. He said, I will bring you into slavery again with what? With ships. How did they get to Haiti? With ships. With ships. With the big boats. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Keep reading. Thou shalt see it no more again. You shall see your homeland never again. Read on. And there you shall be so. You shall be what? You shall be so. The Most High said, now after you got on those boats, when you get off, you shall be sold. Now, my question to you is, who are we sold unto? Who do we get sold unto? Who did the Haitians get sold unto? The French. The who? French. The French, right? So let's see what the Bible calls them. Read on. And you shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. Unto your friends. Unto your enemies. I thought God created everybody to be your enemies. He said you're going to be sold unto your enemies. These people are not your friends. Read on. For bond man. For slave man. Read on. And bond woman. Slave man and slave woman. All these things happen to the people in Haiti, man. Read on. And no man shall buy you. And no man's going to be able to save you out of, out of that captivity. Right? No man can save you out of the things that were done to the so-called Haitians, man. Right? Read on. That's it. Right? So what we're telling you is that what? These curses happen to us because what? We didn't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. So one more, one more scripture before you go. Give me Sirach 1725, right? So with that being said, if, we, if this happened and we went into the curses, we went, all these bad things started happening to us, what did the Most High want us to do in the land of our captivity, right? Watch this. Read what you got, 1725. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 25. Right, read. Return unto the Lord. And what does it say? Return unto the Lord. Hey, after you were sold, slave, beat, robbed, and murdered, it says return unto the Lord thy God, man. Read on. And forsake thy sins. Forsake what? And forsake thy sins. Stop going against the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Stop going against what God told you to do. Forsake your ways. Forsake the evil things, man. Read on. Make thy prayer before his face. That's then after you forsake your ways, make your prayer before his face. Read on. And offend less. And do what? And offend less. Stop offending God. That's right. Right? Because a lot of people think they could just do whatever they want to do, but God is watching you, man. God is watching the things that you do. When you're sitting down eating suspire and griot, griot, the Most High is watching you. Because griot is against the laws of God. Right. Eating griot is not, in the, um, uh, is not a, a, a commandment. Right? It's more than that? Turn away to the Most High uh -huh. and turn away your iniquity. Turn away from the Most High and turn away your iniquity, man. Turn, turn to the Most High. Salak here. Turn to the Most High and turn away from your iniquity. Give me Baruch chapter 4 verse 6 because this stuff is very important, man. You have to keep the commandments of God. If you say you love God, love is a verb, an action word. It's something you do, not just something you say. You have to show God love by your actions. You can't love me and just do me dirty, man. You can't love your parents and disobey your parents all day, every day. That's not true love. Give me what you got, man. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 6. Watch what the Bible say. Read. You were sold to the nation. You were what? You were sold to the nation. Why was the Haitian sold to the French? Read on. You were sold to the nation. Keep reading. Not for your destruction. Not for your destruction, but read on. But because he moved Yahweh to wrath. Because you moved God, you moved God to be angry. That's why we were sold to the nations. Read on. You were delivered unto the enemy. You were delivered to the who? The enemy. You were delivered unto the French, man. Because you got to think about this. When you look at the so-called Haitian and you look at the so-called Frenchman, who is stronger? You got to think to yourself, how the heck did they get us into captivity like that? How the heck does six men run a plantation of 300 slaves? How does that happen? It's spiritual, man. This is not a physical battle. Everything is played on a spiritual realm in this world. Just because you can't see these things with your natural eyes doesn't mean that it's not spiritual. You can't see oxygen, but oxygen is there. It's the same thing as the spiritual world. Right? Give me, jump up to verse 1. Verse 1. Uh-huh. 
This is the book of the commandments. This whole Bible is the book of the commandments, man. Read on. Of God. Of who? Of God. Not of man, but of God. Read on. And the law that endure forever. And the law, statutes, and commandments that endure forever. Because the church teaches you what? That the commandments are done away with. But that's not true. This is why you have so much destruction in the black community. The black household. There's no fathers there. Black men killing black men. Evil eyes towards each other. You can't even go to your brother and ask him for a cup of sugar anymore, man. Yeah. You look at your brother too long in the corner store and he'll take your life when you walk out. Right? Because what? We don't reverence the commandments of God. Read on. All they that keep it, all they that keep the commandments, read on, shall come to life. If you start keeping the commandments today, brother, you're going to come to life. On a spiritual level, you're going to come to life. But watch what the Bible says again. But such as need that you leave the law, statutes, and commandments, read on, shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Shall who? Shall die. We're going to die, man. And we don't want to see any of our brothers die. We want to see our brothers stand back up and be the man that you're supposed to be. Be a king that you're supposed to be. That's right. Right? Because a lot, Joel Osteen can't teach you what we teaching you, man. T.D. Jakes ain't going to come out and teach you what we teaching you. He teach homosexuals to sit on the first row of his uh, church, man. We don't do that. We gonna tell the feminine man, you gotta be a man. Take care of your woman, take care of your children. That's right. That's what we out here to teach.